the mayor's family settled this land long before Confederation. They were there before CN built the tracks through it, connecting eastern Canada to the west. It was donated from the King of England. It's located in Trenton, Ontario, directly behind Canada's busiest Air Force base. Frank Myers has worked the farm since he could walk, which is becoming tougher. I have stiff knee. They want me out of here. They figure I've dropped dead before this. I'm 85, going on 86. His neighbor, the Department of National Defense, wants to expand. They come to ask me if I'd sell. I said, no, I'm not interested in selling. Not interested in selling. So they just up and said to put the laws and put expropriation laws, but stole it. The Prime Minister promised to beef up Canada's defense strategy during the last election campaign. A new training facility in Trenton is part of that plan, promising jobs and increased national security. So they offered mayors fair market value. Peanuts. What good's money for you? I can't eat money. I'm fighting for you. You. Every person on this in Trenton or uh, across Canada, I'm fighting for everyone to have food on their table in years to come. He refused the money, but D&D didn't take no for an answer, swiftly expropriating his last 200 acres, despite the deed from King George III designating the land to the mayor's heirs forever. Perpetual. The deed says perpetual. It's a tremendous stress, but they didn't think I could take it. Now, every time he tries to go to his barn, he faces a security officer. Can't let you on. But isn't this Frank Mayer's land? In less than a minute, we hear sirens. The military police arrive. He hasn't received any money, so wouldn't it be you uh, that's trespassing? I cannot, that's out of my, what I do know right now is that it's DND property. We left and reached out to the Department of Defense and Public Works. No one would go on camera. They've offered mayors compensation and are moving ahead. Legally, the government can take any land it deems is in the public's best interest. As long as the government has made the statutory offer, um, they fulfilled their uh, their legal obligations. I've had many clients that, that you know, feel emotionally that they can somehow stop the clock by not accepting the offer. Historically, that's a long shot. Only the court or the Federal Minister of Public Works can overturn the decision. And construction is starting on the back acres. So Frank's farm, rooted in Canadian history, may be destined to fall. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Trenton, Ontario.